Why Marijuanas Should Be Legal Essay One of the fiercest debates in the medical field is the legalization of medical marijuana. The federal government, states, health bodies, doctors, and the general public have been on each other's necks due to this debate. And what has been the result? Over two-thirds of the states in the USA have passed policies that legalize the use of marijuana for medicinal purposes should the other states follow suit. This article will attempt to answer this question. However, it will first give the background information about medical marijuana, like what it is, before stating why medical marijuana should be legal. Opponents of medical marijuana legalization mainly claim that legalizing this controversial plant will increase its public use resulting in more car accidents and is immoral in all ways. This paper will debunk these claims using expert statements and explain why legalizing medical marijuana may lead to several benefits, so, if it's challenging for you to write a why marijuana should be legal essay, this guide will greatly help. Nonetheless, you can place an order with us if you need an expert to write the essay for you. What is medical marijuana? Medical marijuana is the marijuana plant, cannabis, or its components utilized to treat or manage the symptoms of specific health conditions. It is also termed medical cannabis. The marijuana plant has tens of chemicals in it that are collectively termed cannabinoids. Each chemical tends to have a distinct impact on our bodies, with the most studied and used of them all being cannabidiol, CBD, and delta-9 tetrahydrocannabinol, THC. THC is the main component in marijuana that leads to the high feeling when people smoke or eat the plant, why medical marijuana should be legal, many reasons exist that support the legalization of medical marijuana. Some of the key reasons are as follows. Marijuana manages several health conditions, medical marijuana is safer than its alternative medications, taking medical marijuana does not increase the general consumption of marijuana, medical marijuana does not bring the high feel as much as recreational marijuana. 1. Marijuana manages several health conditions. Research on marijuana has proposed that the plant greatly helps in many medicinal purposes. Foremost, it can manage the conditions and symptoms listed below. Chronic pain. Marijuana can manage several forms of chronic pain, such as neuropathic pain caused by nerve damage, muscle tightness. Marijuana has muscle relaxing properties that help in conditions like paralysis and multiple sclerosis. Appetite. Marijuana assists in treating appetite loss that is contributed by health problems such as specific types of cancers and if AIDS, nausea, marijuana is considerably effective in managing vomiting and nausea, mainly when the two are caused by chemotherapy. In addition to offering essay writing services, you can turn to us for nursing assignment help. Cannabis can provide these health benefits mostly because of the cannabinoids, the active ingredients in marijuana. These compounds have the same features as some of our body's chemicals that control pain, movement, memory, and appetite. What does the FDA have to say about marijuana and treating health issues? The effectiveness of medical marijuana is attested by the U.S. Food and Drugs Administration, FDA policies. FDA has approved three medications made from marijuana, Epidiolex, Dronabinol, and Nibel-1. A few years ago, studies were done on medical marijuana users to understand how this plant affects seizures in children. It was revealed that there was a dramatic drop in seizures. This led to the creation and mass production of Epidiolex, which was approved in 2018 after it was found to treat two rare and severe contributors to seizures, Dravet syndrome and Lennox-Gastaut syndrome, the other two FDA-approved cannabinoid medicines that treat vomiting and nausea from chemotherapy are Nibel-1, Sesamet, and Dronabinol, Syndros, Marinol. These two were approved in 1985. 2. Medical marijuana is safer than its alternative medications. Medical marijuana is safer than many medications when it comes to treating pain. Patients who have used it state that the side effects are less than when using the commonly used traditional painkillers, mainly opioids, including oxycodone and morphine. In addition, patients resume their normal activities faster when they use medical marijuana than opioids. Opioids are super addictive and lethal if misused, capable of leading to death. In contrast, medical marijuana rarely leads to death when overdosed. Also, medical marijuana treats pain due to nerve issues and multiple sclerosis with minimal sedation effects compared to the other medicines used for these health issues. Such as opiates, Lyrica, and Neurontin, another superiority of marijuana is that it manages pain in individuals with health problems such as GERD, ulcers, and kidney damage. In contrast, painkillers, like NSAIDs, cannot be used. 3. 
Medical marijuana does not increase the general consumption of marijuana. Many critics of medical marijuana legalization point out that permitting it will result in a surge of marijuana abuse, specifically among minors. The critics have a point because certain pieces of research have found this to be true. But this is not the case with all the studies, some say otherwise. Thus, it can be seen that the critics are leaning on the side that they see fit. As there is no conclusive evidence from research, studies that declare that legalizing it will not necessarily cause an increase in marijuana have Colorado and Florida to offer as evidence. Coastal Integrative Medicine notes that marijuana use did not rise in these two states after legalizing it for medical purposes. On the contrary, the opposite happened and was mainly achieved using effective education programs and regulations. 4. Medical marijuana does not bring the high feel as much as recreational marijuana. The other claim from opponents against the legalization is that the high usage of medical marijuana will result in many car accidents because of the high feeling brought by this plant when consumed. The THC component in marijuana brings about this feeling, and some cannabis types, mainly the CBD dominant ones, have little to no THC. Individuals are used to consuming recreational purpose marijuana, so they think that all types of marijuana bring an excessively high feeling. The three drugs approved by FDA are made from the CBD dominant strain, hence, they cause little to no effect on consciousness. In other words, critics need to underline this sentence using FDA approved medical marijuana does not increase car accidents more than other alternative medications. Medical marijuana affects our consciousness the same way as the other traditional alternatives. So, critics should avoid blaming medical marijuana as the others, like opioids, have more severe side effects on our consciousness. History of medical marijuana Marijuana dates back to 2900 BC when Emperor Fu discovered its medicinal potential in the Chinese Empire. Two centuries later, the father of traditional Chinese medicine, Shen Nun, clearly highlighted the plant's healing properties. From this period to date, marijuana has been used to treat vast numbers of ailments. Some important dates of marijuana to note, as highlighted by the University of Sydney, are as follows. 1841, marijuana was introduced to the United States by William Brooke after a trip to India. Brooke explained the therapeutic uses of cannabis. 1898, Henry and Dunstan isolated cannabinol. The 1940s, Todd and Adams isolated cannabidiol, CBD. 1970, Controlled Substance Act was enacted in the United States, which declared that marijuana has no therapeutic effects. 1996, California enforced the Compassionate Use Act that allowed the use of medical cannabis. 2012, research showed CBD could manage schizophrenia symptoms. 2017, it was discovered that marijuana could decrease seizures in children with epilepsy. Keep in mind that we as well offer a history essay writing service. You can reach out to us at your convenience as our experts are available day and night. Is medical marijuana legal or illegal? Where do USA states stand at the end of 2021, 37 states and the District of Columbia had legalized medical marijuana. Besides, many of the remaining states are in the process of creating bills that will allow the use of medical marijuana. Conditions that may qualify you for medical marijuana treatment include the ones below, though it depends on your region, severe and chronic pain, glaucoma, muscle spasms and multiple sclerosis, severe vomiting or nausea, Crohn's disease, HIV AIDS, Alzheimer's disease, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS, epilepsy and seizures, some of the states that have legalized medical. Marijuana are Hawaii, Louisiana. Florida, California, Arizona, Maine, Maryland, states that medical marijuana is still illegal include the following, Iowa, Indiana, Kansas, Tennessee, North Carolina, South Carolina, do you have a government-related assignment that is giving your sleepless nights? Turn to us for leadership and governance homework help. Medical marijuana is illegal under federal laws, although many states have allowed the use of medical marijuana, federal laws still classify marijuana as an illegal drug. This means that law enforcers can arrest and prosecute doctors and patients for prescribing and using medical marijuana, albeit them leaving in a state that supports the use of this plant. I know this is confusing, but it is fact. Use these tips to avoid law enforcement encounters and ultimately being caught by them. What are the limitations of medical marijuana? Although experts provide several reasons why medical marijuana should be legalized, there are certain limitations, mainly regarding the side effects of scientific evidence. Speaking of scientific evidence, note that we provide help in all science branches and topics, such as biology homework help. 
Place an order to get help. Some of the side effects of marijuana include lung damage. Research depicts that any form of smoking has detrimental effects on the human body, specifically the lungs. Some pieces of research done on cannabis show that it harms the lungs. However, other studies are against it, weakens our consciousness. Consciousness is mainly termed cognition by researchers. They state that regular use of marijuana may impact our conscious, thinking, capabilities, potential abuse. Marijuana is addictive, therefore, there is a risk of potential abuse when consumed by patients. Memory. Some studies found frequent marijuana usage can severely impact short-term memory. Conflicting scientific evidence, the evidence provided in favor or against the legalization of marijuana is inconclusive. What do we mean by this? Some studies support legalizing medical marijuana, while at the same time, some are against it. Some state that marijuana causes side effects on our bodies, while others state that there is no such thing. No definite conclusion can be reached as all arguments or claims have studies that back them and studies that oppose them.